Hello family, we continue our latest episode of Art Tips, which is finally out on Spotify. And I have to say this, this episode is quite, quite inspiring. Very, very emotional. I mean, these episodes just keep on getting better and better and better and better. Now, Megan's latest episode on Art Tips is titled To Be or Not To Be with Melody Obson and Victoria Jackson. Melody Obson, Megan has described her as her mentor. So if you know you are Megan's mentor, you know that you must have done something. It's also inspiring that Megan has called you her mentor. And indeed, such is the life of Melody Hobson, a woman who has gone through so much in her life, who has been labeled all manner of names, however, has not let those labels hold her back. My family, allow me to share with you a quote from James Baldwin, who said this, and I quote, To be African-American is to be African without any memory. An American without any privilege. That is a quote from James Baldwin. Why am I saying this right now? Because I have heard of Melody Hobson's life. What she has gone through in her life. The challenges she has faced in her life. And she has been through a lot. My family, I want you to hear a clip, you know, that I want you to hear on Megan's latest episode on Arch Tips. My family, once again, I would like to advise you to please tune in to Arch Tips on Spotify to listen yourself. There is something that Victoria Jackson said that I want you to hear yourself. In her own words, this is what she said. Also going to be hearing from. I really am grateful for probably all the people that did tell me I was too ambitious or, you know, difficult. Cosmetics entrepreneur and medical advocate, as well as just all around good egg, Victoria Jackson. These are my family. Hear that? I'm very thankful to all the people who called, you know, me ambitious, as she herself has said. All the people that told Victoria Jackson that she's too ambitious. Maybe those labels that she was called has helped her, you know, build a kind of, you know, wall to motivate her to get to where she is today. A successful cosmetics entrepreneur and medical advocate, Victoria Jackson. My family, I love the people that Megan has surrounded herself with. Hugely, hugely successful people. My family, and in Megan's episode, say this. These are really incredible stories of resilience, perseverance, and success. And success. Victoria Jackson owned you know what she was called, labeled, the label that she was labeled, ambitious, too ambitious. And look at her now. She's hugely, hugely successful. If she let those labels hold her back, she wouldn't be as successful as she is right now. My family, no wonder, she thanks those people who called her or say that she was too ambitious. My family, I like what, you know, first of all, Megan said in this, in this podcast. These stories, these stories that you're hearing from Ash Tapes are stories of incredible resilience, perseverance, and great, great success. And I loved that Megan was speaking to Melody Hobson, first of all. And when Melody Hobson spoke, like, about her life, my family, one thing is for sure. Never give up. You have to be ambitious. You have to want it more than others. And um, being ambitious is not something that is, you know, insulting. 
or demeaning as how it's been used by the UK tabloid press or right wing media or by the Maddox. It's important to be ambitious. If you're ambitious, you'll get to a place whereby you want to get to. And never let that label, if it has ever been used against you, never let that label ever hold you back. Kindly hear this clip on Megan's episode, the latest episode on Spotify with Melody Hobson and Victoria Jackson. This is what they said. Really incredible stories of resilience, perseverance, and success. I learned a lot in talking with these ladies, and I think you will too. You don't want to miss this. That's all coming up right after the break. Okay, so calling someone the B word, labeling them as difficult, it's often a way to insult and dismiss someone. I was talking to a good girlfriend of mine this past weekend, and when I saw her, she said something I had never heard before, and she said, well, isn't that a convenient villain? An assertive woman in a position of power being called the B-word. How very convenient. But that's what happens when we label someone, a woman especially one of these words. It becomes a way to take their power away, keep them in their place. And a lot of times it's tied to the very women who have power and agency, as my friend was suggesting, who aren't comfortable being silent, like businesswomen and entrepreneurs. Hello. My family, let me pause there for just a while. I mean, this podcast is steaming hot, steaming hot. Very interesting. These stories are very, very powerful, my family. You know, it's sad that... In the world that we live in, we have seen how other women, for instance, have been used in the UK media or in right-wing media to take down other women. Being used to divide women. It's so wrong. I mean, a couple of days ago, we saw how this Karen, Medin Kelly, was angry that Meghan called Harry a husband. That Meghan is... Megan's, you know, Prince Harry's wife, and Prince Harry is Megan's husband. Imagine being angry at that. She even proceeded to call Megan some, you know, demeaning words, something to just demean Megan because she can't stand that Megan is the Duchess of Sussex. She can't stand it one bit. Like all Karens, she throws a tantrum at seeing a black woman happy. My family. Megan has been through a lot. I think we've said that even before, and we'll say it again. Megan has been through a lot in her life. So many labels have been used against Megan. And they were almost close to breaking Megan in the UK when she thought about taking her own life. They were almost close. And because of the love that Megan has for her husband, for, for her child, Archie, she didn't do that. Because of love. Despite the pain that she was going through, going through, and now she lives in the U.S. with her with her husband, and they have a daughter now, Lily Diana, a beautiful family of four plus their amazing dogs. And my family, in this life, you know, Megan said in the Oprah interview that life is worth living. No matter what you go through. No matter what you experience in this life, keep pushing on. Keep going forward. Never let anything ever put you down or take you down. Life is worth living. Never let any, you know, abusive word used against you to ever put you, you know, in your place or a place whereby someone, you know, thinks you belong. Like how Megyn Kelly couldn't stand that Megan is the Duchess of Sussex. Like how she tried to demean, demean Megan. Never let any single person ever put you down in any way or in any form. You are special and you are beautifully and wonderfully made 
the creator, the God in heaven. And let no one ever, the words ever put you down. You keep pushing, working on your goals. And I believe that if you work on something, if you work hard on something enough, you will reap the fruits of your hard, hard work. You know, as Megana say that, when we label someone, a woman, you know, one of these words, the B word, it becomes a way to take their power away, to keep them in their place. And my family, what I can say is that don't let someone use these words to put you, you know, in your place, to, to hold you back from what you wish on accomplishing in your life. Keep pushing, keep working, keep doing your thing. And may God keep blessing you. You will thrive, not survive. So keep pushing and never let what someone else says ever put you down. Now let's continue kindly because this episode is just remarkable. I love this episode. Hi, how are you, friend? I'm good. How are you doing? Megan is currently speaking to Melody Hobson, her friend. And also, you know, a very, very, very hugely successful woman an American businesswoman who is president and co-CEO of Ariel Investments. However, you don't know what she's gone through in life. She has gone through a lot. No wonder I use this quote from James Baldwin. Baldwin, to be African-American is to be African without any memory, an American without any privilege. My family, just hear what, you know, Melody Hobson has to say in a con version with Megan, in her talk with Megan. Going, oh, it's so nice to see you. How was, um, before we jump in, how was summer? Oh, I'm so envious. I wish I had just been <laughs> living La Dolce Vita with you. Uh, it was, everything was good. Well, I'm glad you're back. Are you in Chicago right now? No, I'm actually in San Francisco. So, oh. um, yeah. Closer than usual. You can't talk about drive, determination, and perseverance, especially for an American businesswoman, without talking about Melody Hobson. I mean, who else starts out as an intern at an investment firm and rises through the ranks, becoming president and co-CEO? Well, after graduating from Princeton in 1991, Melody, she did just that at Ariel Investments in Chicago. And because she's just so impressive, let's be clear, her accolades don't end there. She's been spotlighted on seemingly more lists than you can count, including Times 2015, Time 100 lists, and the Forbes 2020 list of the world's 100 wow. most powerful women. Wow. And in 2017, Melody became the first black woman to chair the Economic Club of Chicago. And just a few years later, she was named chair of the board of directors for the Starbucks Corporation, the first black woman to be chairperson of an S&P 500 company. And if all of that isn't enough to make you go, who is Melody Hobson? Well, she also made a name for herself as an advocate for financial literacy with her TED Talk, which went viral, and her guest spots on CBS News. I'm Melody Hobson. Melody Hobson, if you ever watch this video, can you please be my mentor? Please. I know Megan, you know, you are Megan's mentor, but can you please also be my mentor? You know, when I was hearing our achievements in life, because I've already heard this podcast, so just rehearing what she has, what she has gone through, her success in life, my family, I am inspired. I am inspired. Are you? Are you? Because I am. I'm so inspired by her, especially when you learn what she has been through in life. My family, keep hearing this. Keep hearing this kindly. And in this eye on America, our eye is on retirement. Ideally, you're earmarking 15% of your income for retirement by now. But if you're already doing that, you may be wondering, what else can I do to prepare? Here are three suggestions. Throughout her career, Melody has worked incredibly hard to have a seat at the table. And yes, we'll hear a lot of the time that those tables have been full of men. To get ahead without being automatically labeled as difficult, 
she had to hone a special skill set. And to be heard, to be respected, she needed grit, kindness, determination, and perseverance. Qualities she surely learned during her childhood, being the youngest of six children, raised by a strong single mother in Chicago in the 70s and 80s. My mom was very unique. She gave me the hard truths of life with so much love and support, but she never wanted me to go through life not being prepared for all that would come. So she... My family, let me pause there for just a while. I know this is so so interesting because, you know, it's just quite interesting how someone's life can inspire you. Because Melody Obson, she began out as an intern. And then she rose the ranks to the point that where she is right now, you know, the president of and co-CEO of Ariel Investments and the chairwoman of Starbuck Corporation. And she was raised by a single mom. Once again, shout out to all the amazing moms out there. Shout out to all the amazing moms out there. You are doing an incredible, incredible job. Keep doing you. Keep doing you. And she truly raised a strong, strong woman. A strong, strong woman. Intelligent, smart woman. Despite the challenges that you'll hear about that they went through, because I want us to get to that part before I end this podcast. I want us to get to that part because I want you to hear what she has been through. Because I want that to inspire you. Because it has inspired me. The point that she is now the Melody Opson, the president and co-CEO of Ariel Investments, man, man, managing millions, multi-million dollar Money, a lot of money. My family, Melody Hobson, you inspire me. You, you inspire me. You inspire me. And also remember that Megan was also an intern at Buenos Aires in Argentina. <laughs> and look at Melody Hobson. She also began out as an intern. An intern. My family, if you are someone out there, and you're an intern, know that you'll also get somewhere, somewhere special, that God has great plans for you as well. You'll get to a very, very powerful, powerful position. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep working. Keep working hard for your dreams. Be ambitious. Be competitive. You, want, you gotta want it more than someone else wants it. And I believe that you'll be able to climb to the ranks. I'm also going to commit myself. I'm going to work extremely, extremely hard on my goals, on my dreams, on what I want to do. And please continue joining me in this journey because we are going, going, you know, to very, very far places. You know, I'm just thinking about our future. And I believe that when I think about our future, say you, yours, mine, I believe that we are going to a very, very far, far place. A very, very far, happy place. You know, our future is great. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Our future is great. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. If you're an intern out there, keep pushing. Megan was also an intern at Buenos Aires in Argentina. Sitting with a foreign minister at the same car. In Argentina, speaking with the foreign minister in Argentina, my family, you also will achieve much in your life. And now look at her; she is a successful woman, a millionaire even before she got married, and she keeps on being hugely, hugely successful. She's the co-founder of Archwell with her husband Prince Harry, and now. She has a hugely, hugely successful podcast on Spotify. My family never give up. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Melody Hobson also, her life is just an inspiration. Is just an inspiration. I mean, an American businesswoman who is president and co-CEO of IL 
investments, managing billions and millions of in assets, and the chairwoman of Starbucks Corporation. My family never give up. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. My family, let's continue. Taught me what to expect as a black woman and a black person. And I really do appreciate that aspect of her. I call it brutal pragmatism, but with so much love. She was devoted to me and to my siblings. She struggled a lot to make ends meet. So as a result of that, we had a very uneven and oftentimes challenging existence where we would get evicted or our phone would get disconnected. Our lights would be turned off. Our cars would be repossessed. I remember my mom borrowing gas from the gas station to get me to school. So let's just be reminded of everything I told you Melody has since accomplished. It's astounding. My family, that's exactly what I thought. Let us all be reminded of what Melody has accomplished. What Melody has accomplished. She's the, you know, co-CEO of Ariel Investments. An American businesswoman who is president, co-CEO of Ariel Investments and the chairwoman of Starbucks Corporation. Her mom was borrowing gas money. She had a difficult, difficult childhood. My family, never give up. Never let your current condition, you know, wherever you are, unique part of the world, ever define, you know, where you're going. You are going places. No, that's why I'm saying that you are going places. And may God keep blessing each and every single one of you. I know I'm going places as well. And I'll keep pushing. I'll keep pushing. I'll keep pushing. I'll never ever give up. I'll never give up. I'll keep pushing each and every single day. Because I can tell you one thing, you know. A couple of while back, I was applying for jobs. Especially after my, my dad passed away. I was so desperate to get to get a job. And then I go to a place, you know, that guy doesn't even call me back. You know, the, the owner. I've been told to go here, I go there. They, this company, they don't call me back. I go over there to another company, a government, you know, company, a government, you know, institution, sorry. And they told me to come back later. They, they never call back. So my family, after my dad passed away, that was how things were, practically. I was looking for a job. It's been so difficult. It's been so difficult at first, at first. However, you know, God has done wonders for our family. You know, I am now able to help my mother with rent. I told you in a previous video that, you know, I'm working on getting enough money to help my mom, you know, build a house to, at our hometown. So things are doing, doing well. Things are going, going well, and I believe they'll keep going well. My vision of having my, my first company is almost, you know, it's almost coming up. It's coming. So I'm going to build my own company, production company. I think it's going to be so incredible. So my family, you know, every single person has that story in their life. However, if you give up, you won't, you won't be able to achieve anything. You won't be able to, to achieve or get anywhere. And that's why it's important to keep working, to keep pushing, to keep working, to keep pushing. And that's why I want you to hear, you know, that part whereby Melody describes what she has been through. How her mom used to borrow, you know, gas money. And she hasn't let that define her future. She's worked. She graduated from Princeton in 1991. My family. And she's gone ahead to become hugely, hugely successful. I mean, let Megan tell you this herself kindly. Let Megan tell you this herself about Melody Hobson. And so inspirational. And all from these humble beginnings where Melody was, in her own words, desperate to understand money 
because they didn't have any. She wanted to understand the power of that currency, so she quickly learned how to be self-sufficient and care for herself, a trait underscored by her mother's slightly, let's call it unconventional, parenting style. I joke with people, this is true. I found my own orthodontist. <laughs> I went to the appointment by myself. <laughs> what? I had these horrible teeth. How old are you? What are you talking I about? I was in sixth grade. No. My family, you know, I want you just to get to hear that part. You know, I'll speak about this little, little part on my next video. My family, we are reviewing this episode. And this is just quite interesting, quite, quite interesting when Melody describes her life, what she's been through, what she's gone through. You know, my family, in our next episode, we shall discuss about how what, you know, how Melody Hobson, you know, inspires, you know, you know, Megan's parenting skills. Megan herself has said that she needs to do something different with Archie and also Little bit Diana based on what melody hobson has said and that's what i'm telling you just tune in to ash tapes and listen for yourself i'm saying this because i've already listened in i've tuned in i've what i've listened to the entire podcast my family is quite quite inspiring you've heard what melody has been has been through she's the youngest of six children raised by a strong single mom in chicago in the 70s, in the 80s. And her mom, she gave her the hard truths of life with so much love and support for her daughter. But she never wanted Melody to go through life not being prepared for all that would come. My family, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Tune in to Archives on Spotify. I'm telling you this episode is inspiring it's inspiring and it touches and impacts right here right here in your heart in your heart and it inspires you it inspires me and i'm gonna build my own company my own production company from the ground up and that's what i told my mom as well i'm gonna build it from the ground up i'm not gonna wait for someone to, to like you know employ me or something i'm gonna employ myself i'm gonna employ others i'm gonna help out the community i'm gonna help my mom out with the bills like what i'm doing already i'm gonna help out that's what i've said and that's what i'll do you know i won't let you know me being rejected by you know a company that i sent on my my cv to ever hold me down i won't let that happen I'll keep going. I'll keep pushing every single day. And I'm, I'm thankful to where I am today. I'm thankful to God to where I am right now, today, this day. Because, to be quite frank with you, after my dad passed away, I didn't know what I'm going to do. I didn't know what I'll do. Because he was practically the breadwinner. He did everything provided. He paid the rent, he paid everything. And before he passed away, I remember telling him that dad was at the hospital because he suffered from diabetes. I told him, dad, I remember it was the last time that I actually, or the last time that I actually saw him. I told him, dad, I called him Baba. I'll help you with paying the rent. Then he told me, you'll pay half, you'll pay half, you'll pay half, you'll pay half, you'll pay half. I remember his words and that's why it's important to me to to help my mom with rent it makes me it makes me happy it makes me feel like i'm i'm helping out it's like i told my dad i would my late dad that i would so my family you know in this life never let anything ever put you down keep pushing keep pushing every single day and that's why i'll also keep pushing every single day i'll never stop i'll never stop to help my mom i'll help my mom build a house next year I'm going to do that. I'm going to build my whole house next year. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep pushing. My family, when I do it, I'm going to send a picture this, to, this, to this family here about the house that I built. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video of it. And I'm going to work hard to do just that. My family, keep pushing. So many people have been 
through so much in their lives. We've had Melody, Melody Hobson's story about being raised by a single mom in Chicago. And during that time, we know about the racism that was happening during that time. We know about it in the U.S. How it was so rampant in the U.S. So it couldn't have been easy. And no wonder her mom gave her the hard truths of life with so much love and support. And she never wanted Mary to go through life without being prepared. My family, please tune in to Ash Tapes. I don't know how you feel right now, but I just feel so inspired after this episode. Now, I want to hear opinion about this. And kindly with that, and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our evergreen family on YouTube. Kindly hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Keyword daily and consistent. And stay tuned to our next video. What do you think about this episode? What do you think about this episode? I want to hear your opinion. This episode just keep on getting better and better and better and better. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Spotify. Thank you, Archetypes. Thank you, my family. Thank you to all of you as well. Kindly stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. What was the part that you liked in this podcast? What 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 inspires you, my family? Because you you just gotta be inspired with what is being said here by Melody Hobson. I wanna hear your opinion and kindly stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever, my family. I love this. I could go on all day, but I love this. I love this so much. Kindly stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.